What's going on guys? Welcome back to Captain's Crease. This is my first video after coming back from vacation. Spent about three weeks in Spain, Andorra, and Portugal. Came back two and a half weeks ago and since then I've been playing about three times a week. Been playing some of my best hockey recently. And part, the main part of that reason is that um, I'm not playing anything below uh, the top leagues um, as far as like adult hockey goes here in Finland. Um, I'm only playing for the teams that are in the top divisions um, because if I go down to, I guess, the equivalent of, I don't know, C or D division in Toronto or even B, um, I'm dealing with those muffin shots and like the slower pace of the play and um, it's it's frustrating. Yeah, I've been having way more fun uh, playing with the, the elite groups here. And um, the cool thing is that I've got my own Thursday group right now. Um, so I'm guaranteed one game a week. Um, and I've been filling in for a few more elite groups, so that's pretty good. Um, and I try to space the games out so I can recover in time for the next one because it does take a toll on me. Um, it's each skate is about an hour and a half. And because of the nature of the game and the quality of the skaters, it's, it's a lot more movement. Um, it's a lot more, um, you just have to be really sharp. You have to be on your game. You, you, you can't be soft, can't be taking nights off, because um, you're not going to get called back if you do. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, now, the cool thing is I do have a tryout coming out with uh, one team this weekend. Um, I do also have a actual official league game with a different team. So that's that's something to look forward to. I, I'm definitely going to be recording that game, so hopefully it'll go well. So yeah, I'm not doing like the rent a goalie anymore per se. Uh, I'm not um, going out to groups and like asking to be paid and things like that. Uh, my reward, my payment is that I get to play with like Liga players and Mestis players. Like I'm like elite players or or alumni or juniors or ex juniors whatever it is because uh, that's going to make me a better goalie so without further ado let's get into it i don't do anything too crazy in the warm-ups um just some basic edge work do my little hops Oh yeah, uh, first shot, breakaway, that's going to be a theme with this skate, lots of breakaways. And um, somehow I just couldn't control the rebound, and he somehow just slid it right under my pad. Uh, not good. Not a good start, but what can you do? Oh yeah, that dude with the yellow socks. Um, oh, that was a nice save. Dude the yellow socks is going to be all over on, the, on this replay, but um, man, this was a really nice save, and I know it was going wide after looking at the replay, but still, that was, that was some solid paddle work. And same guy, tried the breakaway move here. Not happening, not happening. So, the same guy that I just stopped with a paddle earlier, Got him with a paddle again, <laughs> and this this was a nicer one, I think. That was that was labeled for the net. Just stuck with it, never quit on the play. Kept my eyes on the puck. Uh, I've been really working on my hand eye co uh, hand eye coordination sort of last year, two years, and it really shows when I play. Really have to stretch out the, the hamstring on that one. He tried to pull the uh, Forsberg one-hander. He almost had it. Just managed to extend the leg enough. But yeah, on the topic of hand-eye coordination, um, you will see some. Oh, yeah. Man, that's 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 been a bit of a problem for me. Is uh, respecting the shooters way too much coming off the um, the short side, especially on the glove side. Because it's you know when they've got when they've got the rush when they can deke a little scorpion there when they can shoot when they can pass when they can cross a goal across the goal um, it's way too many options and then it's like you're kind of trying to cheat for whatever you think is going to be happening in that moment and then you're off your post and you're off your off your angle. So that's something I need to work on. I need to get a little more aggressive in those situations when they're rushing in on the short side. Woo. 
actually bit of, lost a bit of an edge pushing over, which made that a little more difficult than it needed to be. But still managed to snag it. That's all that counts. Again, keeping your eye on the puck. That's all it is. Coordination. And after I robbed him, he gets me back with a snipe right there. That was a nice shot. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, those short side chances, um, just got to be more aggressive in those situations. And stop coming off the post too early. Yeah, like, there's another example of it. And then I'm just wondering, like, if you got a D-man, like, in position... Yeah, there you go. Beaten by a slapper on a breakaway. That one hurt. That was a good, good shot. Um, you got a D-man coming in position, so you're kind of, you're expecting a shot in that situation, but then the problem is that the D-man pulls up at the last second and just lets them walk around you across the crease. Um, so, it's a bit of a tough situation. Yeah, they, they were working me. They were working me this skate. I'm just kind of making s saves with all, all parts of my body. Yeah, this one, I was screened and I wasn't quick enough to track it. And then when you can't hear it, you're kind of waiting to, sorry, when you can't see the puck, when you can't see the release, you're kind of waiting to hear it, right? Uh, but I couldn't hear that one. It was a complete surprise when I went by me. Yeah, they wanted those top corners all night. Got a lot of shoulders on those, a lot of shaft saves. Oh yeah, shaft. Respect the shaft. Yeah, that's one of those change-up shots I was talking about. It's like it takes forever for the puck to get to you and it dips along the way. Not fun. I don't like those. And that was just a nasty shot. I mean, if you're gonna stand around and let someone walk in, someone who can actually shoot it like that, I mean, shooter's advantage. Shooter's advantage. Especially if they're gonna put a bar down. I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, that one I just got beat by a quick release. Uh, get a little gas towards the end. Yeah. I think I gave a bunch of goals here at the end. Didn't look very pretty, but uh, I mean, they were good shots. And it was just breakaway after breakaway, and, and another one here. Down too early. Not tracking it well enough. I mean, I would say this is the only one I really should have had. Um, I was there. Somehow, it's like it kind of went through my arm. But, um, yeah. That's that one. Hope you dig the new uh, scoreboard for the, uh, the shiny highlights. New coat of paint, shall we say. Another bit of a cool announcement is um, gonna be doing a goalie day camp with um, uh, none, other, none other than the uh, strength and conditioning coach of Sergei Bobrovsky, who recently celebrated Stanley Cup with his longtime customer. And uh, so that's gonna be fun. I'm definitely gonna be filming that. So look forward to that in December. Um, actually just did a 10K run last weekend um, for the first time and um, no training, no preparation whatsoever. I just wanted to see where my um, where my conditioning is at and um, did pretty well, I would say, um, for a first time. Um, this has been kind of a year of first for me. I've played a lot of soccer and floorball, um, did tournaments in both those sports. Uh, living here in Finland has forced me to adapt a little more because of um, not being able to play hockey during, um, I would say, like most of June and then all of July because um, everyone's away on vacations. Um, so I had to kind of, you know, do other things, play other sports, uh, which was mostly soccer during the summer. Um, before that, it was floorball. I, mean, I love hockey so much, and hockey is just so special to me that I hate the thought of playing any other sport. Um, like, I would never give up hockey for any other sport. But uh, it was actually nice for a change to play other sports. So um, let me hear your comments down below. Let me know how you're digging this new format. And um, that's pretty much it for now. So until next time, keep your glove up. <laughs>